Alright, good evening everyone, and welcome to a completely impromptu stream. Uh, here's the deal. It's Friday. It's actually, uh, January 13th. It's- Oh my god! It's Friday the 13th! Of course my late stream didn't go down like I wanted. It's Friday the 13th. That makes perfect sense. Okay. I don't know why WWE would be banned as one word, because I don't think I ever did that, but it's very possible that it was banned years ago by one of my previous moderators and put into either Nightbot or, or, or YouTube or both. I'm not sure. I don't remember doing that. There you go. American Manga Undertaker did a super test. says, do I pray and have I... No. He says, do you pray? I have prayed for you before. Um, Have I prayed? Yes. Absolutely. Yes. Absolutely. One million percent yes. Am I a religious guy in my, my present life? No, I am not. But I have, you know, had religion as part of my life many times in my life, um, you know. And I'm not, I've never said I would outright close that window either if ever, I, you know, I felt like I wanted to be part of it again. But uh, at this time, no. Yeah, you know, it is what it is. It's funny because it's absolutely hilarious that these idiots, especially these people in the modern fighting game community who talk shit and say, oh, all you ever did was place in a broken version of Super Turbo at EVO and you got fourth place. Like... Dude, there's fucking matches on YouTube right now. People just mentioned it. Me versus Justin Wong. Me versus Seth Killian. The finals of tournaments that I'm winning. You know? But just ignore that, right? That didn't. That never happened. You have your little dumb meme about, I played a PS1 version of Super Turbo. These people are so small minded. It's like the fucking walnut in the head. Right? <laughs> you ever see those cartoons? The Looney Tunes? And they do the x-ray inside someone's head? And it's like... This guy's a big brain. This guy's a normal brain. This guy's the little walnut with a fuzzball next to it. You know? Those are the idiots that say that shit. It's like, how dumb can you be when there's documented evidence of me being good at Street Fighter, but you want to ignore it all for your own memes memes and bullshit? You're just a fucking little kid. You're, you're seriously like a little infant yelling at you on a schoolyard. It's like, you're so dumb. And the, the sad fact is, that's the state of the fighting game community. People listen to those dumbasses because they think it's funny. They're all brain-dead idiots. You know, that's the new generation. It's like, Jesus Christ, man, what do we make? So, Zixtow did a super chat says, no more Street Fighter Friday nights. Well, here's the thing, Zixtow, were you here earlier? Do you know what happened? You probably aren't aware of what just happened, right? That, basically, I, you know, my PS Plus ran out, and I have no desire to pay for it just to try to play this version of the game that we were getting absolutely nothing out of. But, since my PS Plus ran out, I'm not going to pay $10. It's like, well, Phil, do you want to go back to the fighting game community? Do you want to go back and play in tournaments? No. Do you think I want to deal with that shit? That the moment I walk into a, an event, everyone's snickering because they think, oh, that's the guy who put the PS1 version of fucking Super Turbo. What are you talking about? I played it once at one fucking tournament that happened to be Evo. After then, I dominated in every version of the game I played for three years. So what the fuck are you talking about? But they're, they're so stupid. And yet, why even bother with the drama and the nonsense that they're going to create? Because they're all a bunch of little infants. So, no. I'll stay home. I'll stay home and I'll play my games online. Okay? There you go. Why is there a mugshot for your thumbnail? There you go. <laughs> because I did it on purpose to look stupid. Because I didn't have a thumbnail for the stream. I didn't want it to say Capcom Fighting Collection. So, I just tossed a random thumbnail on it. Here's, here's a weird thing. So, if you start a stream on YouTube and the stream is live... And then you want to change your thumbnail. All you can do is replace it with another thumbnail. You can't just say, I don't want a thumbnail. Give me a default. You can't do that. <laughs> and by the way, I don't know. Purple Pickle Yum Yum should not have been timed out. I mean, his name is fucking stupid. But he's asking legitimate questions. So he shouldn't have been timed out like that. I'm going to untime him out. Unhide user. He shouldn't have been timed out. Because what, what he asked was, he did, a, he, did, he did a super chat. And he says, what I mean to say is... He's asking a legit question, so he shouldn't be timed out. I do, agree, I do agree his name should be changed. His name is fucking stupid. His name is... Purple Pickle Yum Yum, your name is really dumb. And you really should change it. Can you make a better fucking name than something so stupid? That way maybe people would actually, you know, treat you like an adult. But anyway, his question is... Um, is there anyone out there who is... Instead of just being so negative and posting up negative shit about me, is there someone out there who, like, posts a lot of positive stuff? And the answer that I have to say there is... I have absolutely no idea. I honestly have no clue. Is there anyone out there who posts up positive stuff about me? I, I wouldn't know. There used to be. Now, we're talking way in the early stages of YouTube. I'm saying 2009, 2010, maybe 2011. All right? Right before this is how you don't play hit. 
How much money did I ever make in my Street Fighter career? Ask Mishael. Zero dollars. I lost insane amounts of money. Back then, there was no money to be made. It was a grassroots movement. There was no sponsorships by Capcom. There were no teams to join. There was no companies throwing money around. There were no jerseys with a bunch of logos that were paid plugs on them. It was just, you you pay to fly somewhere or drive somewhere. You pay for the hotel room. You pay for the food. You pay for the registration. You pay for everything yourself. You go to the tournament. You play in it. If you win, you win a few hundred bucks. Even Evo back then, it was like $1,000 for first place. You didn't even pay for your trip. There was zero benefit to going to these tournaments besides your own personal enjoyment and bragging rights online that you are the best player. And it meant absolutely nothing. It was for the love of the game. Siesta Jan Yugo did a super chat. Says you should have done an interview with Jim. It would have been a good time, but now he's dead. Now, first of all, if he's actually passed away and you just say it like that nonchalantly in a super chat, that's kind of fucked up, just being honest. You should say it more respectfully than that. Um... But if you're speaking about Mr. Metoker, who I think you're talking about, um, there was absolutely no way I was doing anything with that guy. Um, so Purple Pickle did another super chat. At this point, if I change my name, you wouldn't know it's me. Someone with a new name can... You can literally just change your name to, like, Purple P or something. And, you know, did you understand that the word Purple Pickle, people think it's a penis? Do you not understand that? And obviously, you know, obviously that's what you're going for. You're trying to be stupid or gross out humor. It's dumb. All right? Just fucking change it. Stop being stupid. Okay, um, let's see here. So this is Alex again with a three dollar tip. He says, "I'm in the I'm in the the Maritimes in Canada. I don't know what that is." He says, "The housing market here is really bad. It's hard to find a good apartment for under a thousand dollars for a one bedroom. Is it as bad in Washington as it is in Nova Scotia? It's worse. It's absolutely worse. You just said a thousand dollars for an apartment. It's impossible to get an apartment here for a thousand dollars. I'm not kidding you." It's, it's completely, utterly impossible. Um, to get a home like mine is about $2,500 a month. <laughs> I'm not kidding. To just get a single, like a, an apartment, a $1,000 apartment, you would be living in a broom closet. And like your toilet would be your sink. You'd have to like poop down the, to down the sink and flush with the faucet. Seriously, your shower would be you put a mop in the sink and you flip the mop onto your head and you scrub your head like this. And then <laughs> and your kitchen is a... Basically, you live in the janitor's closet. Your kitchen is a metal rack that's right one inch from your face. Right? And so what you do to eat food, you take your ramen noodles, dry off there, and you put them, again, into your sink where you just shat and you put it into the hot water coming out of the faucet and that's how you get your noodles nice and wet. Yeah, and then you... Thousand mm, dollar apartment. Mm. <laughs> no, you, dude, no way. Okay. Uh, let's continue. Um, purple pickle again. Oh, actually, I skipped. I skipped a super chat. Mark Thomas did a super chat. <clears throat> American manga undertaker did a super chat. Should we hold accountable? Yeah. Should we hold accountable rappers who use the n word? Um, again. Here's the thing. This is my take, and you can completely disagree. All right? I'm, I'm white. I shouldn't even be in the conversation. Why does my opinion matter? That word has no impact on me whatsoever, so I know I should not use it because it has an impact on other people and it hurts them. But I have absolutely no power to determine the use of the word because I'm not affected by it. The people who are affected by it should be the ones to determine that. If they feel that it's offensive and no one should use it, then they should say that if they feel that only certain groups should use it then they can say you know whatever they want all i know is i'm one of the ones that shouldn't be using it so that's why i stay away from it because it's disrespectful and it's hurtful to them and i'm not going to do that you know so there you go that's all i know let them figure out how they want to use it themselves i don't care how does that affect me it doesn't too many people on this planet care about shit that doesn't affect them right we were just talking about this earlier. I was playing One Piece, and somehow, if you can believe it, people were talking about um, Hogwarts Legacy and how some people are up in arms saying, oh, you can't play Hogwarts Legacy because if you do, you're supporting the anti-trans, uh, you know, mentality of the creator of Harry Potter, uh, J.K. Rowling. Wrong. <laughs> Wrong. You can play a video game and it has nothing to do with that whatsoever. Nothing. It, it's it's lunacy what these people say and do in these day these days. It's nonsense, right? Um, 
It's just, it's insanity. This dumb shit, right? So, to me, it's like, does it affect me if you are trans or not? No, it doesn't. Have a happy life and if you want to be trans. If you feel like that's where you get the, the better feeling of who you are, your identity, go for it. Why do I care? Why am I going to tell you to do it or not do it? Why am I going to tell you it's wrong or it's right? That's not my place to judge. I have nothing to do with it, right? The N-word, if it's hurtful, don't use it. I won't because you've told me it's hurtful to certain people. I will not use it. I don't even think of that word ever. Literally, it's not in my vocabulary, you know? So just leave everyone alone. If something doesn't affect you, stay the fuck out of their business and maybe so many problems wouldn't happen on this planet. Just leave everyone alone to be happy for themselves and stop fucking bothering people. Seriously, everyone, should, listen, best mentality of life, stop fucking bothering everyone around you. Just pay attention to yourself. Keep your own house in order and stop caring about what this guy's doing over here, what this person's doing over here. Fuck that. Look at yourself in the mirror and deal with that shit. Because guess what? You're probably a fucking mess too, so clean your ass up. <laughs> okay? Enough of that shit. Purple Pickle did a super chat and says, Does the purple P sound like what you just said? By the way, chat, I'm not offended by his reaction. It's expressive criticism. I'm open to it. <clears throat> okay. I got some tips. I got some tips. I got some shout outs to do. Purple Pickle did a super chat. He said, Do you think DSP Gaming will outlast Activision Blizzard? Uh, maybe. You never know. Purple Pickle, no one has any idea what you're talking about, nor do we care. Um, I got a $5 tip. Let's go ahead and... Whoops, what am I doing? I'm on the wrong screen. Let's play Guitar Player a nice animation. Thank you, Guitar Player. Let's get, let's get that added to our running tally. At this point, we're now at $61 in tips, which means it is indeed hat time because we are skipping the Gunner Glasses tonight because they don't look good on, on this, fa uh, this uh, ring cam. So let's do a poll for a hat. <clears throat> All right, let's see what hat you guys want to see tonight. Which hat is Q&A best? Anyway, so Purple Boogle did, said I missed the Super Chat. The Super Chat before that is talking about the bankruptcy era of my life. We're not talking about my private fucking shit on this stream. What are you doing? We're not talking about my private financials. We're not talking about my private life behind the scenes. This is not... like what are you, Purple Pickle. Dude, like, grow brain. Okay? Please. I know you have one. The thing is you don't have to grow it. You just have to use it. Everyone has a nice brain in their head. And the problem is some people like to utilize it while others like ignore that it exists. And then some people just like say dumb shit without processing it through. Why would Phil, 2023, three years removed from his bankruptcy, right? Out of that situation, pushing forward positively in his life, better personal place in his life, better place with his business. Why would I want to talk about my bankruptcy in 2023? Right? This has been a fun stream for me, even though we didn't get to play Street Fighter. It is what it is. By the way, my head itches. <laughs> I'm wearing this hat like my head is starting to itch. Ah. Carlos says, good stream. Can't wait for Oblivion tomorrow. Yeah. Tales of Arise playthrough. No thanks. From Mr. Sexy Nippleman. I was on Twitter. I saw a review tech is saying, HR will destroy you in Street Fighter. You would be, you would, you could be him blindfolded. He has many spelling errors in this tip. All right. Nobody cares. Everyone real realizes that, right? Like, no one cares about this guy. He's the last person I concern myself with. Obviously, he's just an idiot. So, I don't care. <laughs> Didn't go as well as I would have liked because the, the fans blowing at me. But it still looked pretty good. There you go. Oh! <laughs> it came back to get me. Whoa, look how close it is to the camera. That was cool. It came back at the camera. Wow, the bubbles look way better now, don't they? Those bubbles look really good now with the ring with the ring cam. The ring cam actually illuminates them nicely. Hold on. Let me get this joystick out of here. This is the joystick I was going to play on, but that's why I'm not doing nothing. Let me get it on the way. Ah, my foot. Stub my toe. Shit. Ah. My fucking toe. God damn it. That hurt. Ah, stub my toe bad. And I kick the camera. Is the camera centered? Hmm. Still seems all right. Maybe it's slightly off. I think I kicked it. I did. There you go. I kicked it a little bit off center. Now it's better. Okay. 
Uh, wind, wind claw. I am not a psychologist nor a psychiatrist. I can't help you with depression. You should talk to a professional or a loved one or a family member or a friend. You shouldn't be talking to a random streamer on the internet if you really need help with that, which I don't know if you're being serious or not. If you are, how about I come to your house, right? And we talk about all those lowest moments of your life. Better yet, how about all I do is I just beat your testicles like a punching bag like this. Because, I mean... <laughs> okay, Gorilla Juice 2009 did a super chat. Phil, would you play Def Jam Fight for New York if I donated to you? No thanks. <clears throat> uh, more contributions to shout out. $3 tip. From My Ass Has Dimples. This person says, I've been watching you for 15 years. I heard some really stupid rumors about you. I heard about, you know, all this dumb stuff. Uh, and basically, here's the thing. I'm not going to talk about those specifics because it's not worth it, all right? But I understand. You're right. It sucks that people talk about that shit, and I just ignore it, right? Okay. Um, and then another super chat from Purple Pickle. This guy doesn't give up. Have you heard that the tractor channels are now fighting each other? No, I don't care about the tractor channels, okay? All right, ready, ladies and gentlemen? I don't care about the tractor channels. I don't care about the tractor channels. I don't care about the tractor channels. Hmm. Do I care about the tractor channels? No. I don't care about the tractor channels. I, Phil Burnell, Darkside Phil, DSP, owner and operator of DSP Gaming, do not care about the tractor channels. I don't want to know about them. I don't want to hear about them. I don't care about them. I don't want to... If I fart too loud and it sounds like the name of a detractor, I get upset. Okay? I want nothing to do... I don't care. It has nothing to do with me. Let them do their own nonsense. If I ignore it, the more I ignore and the less that I take the bait of bullshit, right, on this channel and I get to just chill with you guys and have a good time and enjoy games and having our own meaningful content and we just keep that shit on their own channels, the better. All right? Really. Stop taking the bait. Stop acting like a fool, because that's the thing. The more I act like a fool, that gives them more more fodder. L let me tell you, they're upset, because in the last couple of months, I actually have stopped doing things such as sitting here and doing the dumb e-begging shit that I was doing so excessively. I stopped doing it, and they're mad about that. Like, Damn, that's what we used to have. That was our best ammo. Now we can't, what, what are we going to say? Now we got to really, you know, grasp at the fucking straws, Right? To really fucking say negative shit about him. They don't like that. They want me to act like an idiot every day. They really would have loved for me tonight to take the bite from these people. Oh, talk about your bankruptcy and talk about that. No, stupid. I'm not wasting my time on that anymore. I'm just not. I mean, I have way positive things to talk about moving forward. I don't have time for your nonsense, you know. And they don't They don't like that. They, oh, he didn't take the bait anymore. He's not doing it anymore. No. So let them be at each other's throats and, you know. I don't care about anything they say and do. I don't want to know their names, you know? The less I know, the better. Because they're completely meaningless to me. Willow, you have a good night. I appreciate that. And, uh, Purple Pickle did another Super Chat says, I'm starting to think maybe you don't care about them. Yeah, well, you know. Sometimes I have to say something about 90, 100, 127 times before it sinks in with some people, I guess, right? What's my favorite Mexican food? I don't necessarily have a favorite Mexican food. I like different things from Mexican restaurants, but I don't have, like, one thing that's my go-to. 